Now that everything has been checked, we are gonna set up and turn on our computer for the first time. So this is the first thing that we always have to do. Always make sure that your computer is plugged. Is this the right country or region? Right keyboard layout or input method? Want to add? No. Let's connect you to a network. Please review the license agreement. So you just have to accept that there, you don't have any other option. Let's add your Microsoft account and uh, I'm gonna add my Microsoft account right now. If this computer came with Windows S mode, I'm gonna need to have my Microsoft account there before I can remove it. Next. Password. So want to use your fingerprint to sign in faster and more securely? Your device has a fingerprint sensor that works with Windows Hello, giving you a simple password free way to verify your identity. Touch the fingerprint sensor, repeatedly lift and rest your finger on the sensor until setup is complete. So we have to create a pin. Your settings in OneDrive files are sent to this PC and you get a chance to restore apps from your private PC once you finish your restore. Your Microsoft account in OneDrive. Access granted, we're giving you a free trial of Microsoft 365. I'm gonna decline it. Protect your device with your consent. ASO will register this device under your Acer ID with the information you share, you share with Microsoft and provide here. You may also skip registration by leaving this. So this laptop definitely came with Windows 11. So we're getting you the next version of Windows. Take a peek at some of the new things you would, you would love. This may take a while, maybe 36 more. So keep your PC on and plugged in. We'll restart your PC once everything is ready. Step one of three, downloading 7%. Basically everything is ready. This is it, everything's set. Welcome to Windows and that's it. Let's go check out the internal characteristics of this computer. We can see it has 250 gig of SSD and one of HDD. So these are the internal characteristics of this laptop. Processor AMD Ryzen 3, installed RAM 12, device ID, product ID, 64-bit operating system, and it came with Windows 11 Home in S mode. So we're gonna have to change that now. The only problem that you're gonna have with S mode is that you cannot install other apps apart from the apps that came already in the Microsoft Store. I need other apps, so 
S mode one work for me. Now that we are in, in, in settings, we're going to click on system and then we're going to scroll and locate activation. Let's click on this. You can see Windows 11 home in S mode. Upgrades aren't available in S mode to upgrade exit S mode. And that's what we're going to do now to install apps that aren't verified by Microsoft Store and to get Windows upgrades, go to the store and exit S mode. We're going to click on this. And that's going to open our Microsoft Store. Here we have the feature that we have with S mode get Windows 11. Let's just click on this get. Ah, look at it. So we have Windows 11 home now. Let's go and confirm. And you can see right here we have Windows 11 edition. That's it. If you guys are thinking of getting a laptop with Windows S mode, don't worry about it. It's very easy to get out of Windows S mode, so don't stress yourself about it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and hope you've learned something in this video. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button so you get notified when we upload new videos. Ciao.